We're back on part two of our mantel and floating shelf installation on Woodworking with West today. As you can see, the mantel still looks great in here and they've loved it so far. Now we're getting ready to put our floating shelves. We're going to be putting a wall mounting bracket and then an anchoring our shelves to that bracket. As you watch and we go through this, you'll see how these shelves will come together. We've marked our spacing for our shelves. So let's get started and see how it goes. In assembling our floating shelves, these are the pieces we're going to use. We have a top and a bottom of our shelf out of veneer plywood. We have a face to our shelf that is solid wood. And just like we did on the mantel, we've put a rabbit cut on the top and bottom that will hide the face of our, the edge of our um, plywood. These little spacer blocks will hold our top and our bottom apart so that we have the thickness that we're after. This is a four inch thick uh, floating shelf. But let's go ahead and get started putting it together. We're going to use our little spacer blocks here to help us in our assembly. Set this up. We're going to glue and nail with 18 gauge inch and a half nails for our assembly, but we're going to nail through our plywood into our rabbit so that we don't have any nails in the face of our shelf just like we did our mantle giving us a nice clean face on our shelf just like we had a nice clean face on our mantel. You can see how that rabbit covers the edge of our plywood. Okay, there's the face shelf. Let's turn it around here. These little spacer blocks I have cut just the thickness of the back side of our rabbit and we're going to glue these spacer blocks in there. We're just going to take these spacer blocks we're going to put some glue on the bottom and the end like that. We're just going to set that in there. We're going to push it down hard and push it up against the face of our shelf We are eventually going to put a nail into these, but I'll show you how we're going to do that so that we don't shoot nails into the space with no support. Okay, now our supports are now glued in, and we're going to put a little line right here on the face of our rabbit to tell us where our spacer blocks are. So we can run a nail. Now we're going to put a little glue on the top of our spacer block. Down the inside of our rabbet. And across the face of our veneer panel. And again, we got to get this lined up so that it's just right there. There we go. Again, we'll shoot through our veneer panel into the rabbit. sure we had enough glue to get a little squeeze out to tell us that we were doing a good job there. And now we're going to follow our mark and we're going to put one nail back in our support piece. Just 
just like that. And there, we're beginning to look like a chef. Now, I want to put a nail on the other side of our, our spacer block on our other veneer panel. And so, we're going to transfer our little mark over to the other side. Get our little square here. Now as we roll over the shelf, you can see how we transferred our mark over. And now we know that this is where our spacer block nail should be. And we're just going to go through here. And that is the assembly of our table. Now I'm going to roll this over so you can see the back side. This is, uh, this is what it's going to look from the front side. We're going to putty and sand this in just a minute. But I want you to see the inside. If you can look inside there, you can see our spacer blocks. You can see the space in between our veneer shelves. This is where we're going to be putting our mounting block on the wall to mount our floating shelf on the wall. And we've left plenty of space in there to allow us a good mounting block, so this will be a very secure floating shelf. I wanted to point out one thing. This is a plywood veneer panel. This is an MDF veneer panel. I used this MDF piece because I had a piece left over and I wanted to use it up. But it's the same thing. It's just a veneer panel, different core. And there is our floating shelf assembled, ready to putty and sand. Let's go to the sanding. Well, and there we have it. We have our shelf all sanded. We sanded 180 grit, then 120. Then we put a quarter inch round over on the face of our shelf. And then we sanded 150 grit for our final sand. Now it's off to the paint shop. We're in the paint shop now. Again, we're using Sherwood Williams Sherwood Wiping Stain mixed to our customer's custom color. Applying with a sponge and wiping with paper towel, just like we did on the mantle. This is the exact same stain. We're going to apply it the exact same way. So let's get started.
We've had several of you ask what color this is, what color formula this is. This was a total custom color for our client. We worked adding a little of this and a little of that to get the exact color that they were looking for. It really does not have a color color, a color number because it is a total custom color, but it is Sherwood wiping stain, which is a stain that I like to use when I'm doing stain on any of my raw woods. This is going to be a beautiful floating shelf. It's going to be very nice. Now we're going to go ahead and finish staining this and then we're going to give it a coat of lacquer. And there are six of these shelves, so this process is going to be times six. We'll see you when we're starting to spray some lacquer. We've got our brackets up for our shelves. We're, what we used for our bracket was an inch and a half thick, uh, two and a quarter inch high cleat to mount our shelf on. The two and a half inch cleat will fit in the middle of our shelf and we'll nail through the top of our shelf to mount the shelf permanently. The, we've leveled these and screwed them to the wall. Let's go ahead and put a shelf in and see what it looks like. It fits very tight, but that's what I wanted for it to fit very tight. We'll level this now, put some anchors on the top of it, and our shelf is in. We've got two more to do on this side and three to do on the other side, and we'll have this looking like a really pretty wall for our customer. Well, we've completed the installation of our box beam mantle and floater shelves. We've made our client happy and it looks great. We think it's wonderful. So does she. And we'll see you next time on Woodworking with Wes.